All right, everyone, I'm just here to share a quick tidbit that I thought of a little bit earlier today. I was watching Shed's stream, and I noticed that he has his jump, transform, and cancel buttons all bound to his mouse, which made something cross my mind, which I'm very surprised hasn't crossed it earlier, considering the only other speed game I've ever played, I bunny hopped everywhere in, which is binding jump to scroll wheel. Now, there isn't a native way to bind scroll wheel to jump in this game, so I had to use Razor Synapse to bind scroll wheel up and scroll wheel down to my jump key. Doing this allows me to spam scroll wheel up and scroll wheel down at a very fast rate and basically mash as fast as humanly possible. Now I'll show you a couple examples of me using the scroll mashing versus controller mashing since that is what I'm currently most comfortable with. Now the other very useful application of this is actually for transition jumps. So very similar to the reason you would use the scroll wheel for jump in a game like Portal 2, um, we're just trying to scroll as much as we can as we go through the transition so that we would jump immediately as we go through it. This would cause you to basically use your double jump as soon as you go through the transition on the other side, but it is still very useful for making transition jumps way, way easier. Now that I've shown you scroll mashing and some of its applications, I'd like to talk about it a little bit. In its current state, I don't think it should be legal in any of the speedruns, due to the fact it requires third-party software to even perform. However, that doesn't mean I'm opposed to it being implemented into the base game. Some of the categories, such as 105%, have very mash-intensive sections that can deter a lot of players from picking up the category. Introducing something like this to the base game would level the playing field and make it more accessible to more people. Even as someone that runs primarily on controller, I don't have issue with this tech being added, as the controls work seamlessly between the two. Meaning for mash intensive sections, I can simply grab my mouse, scroll mash through the section, and then continue the rest of the run on controller. However, those are just my thoughts. I'd like to open the discussion up to the rest of the community so everyone can kind of voice their own opinion on whether this should be implemented or just straight up banned. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Chipo, be sure to check out some of the guides that I've uploaded to the channel. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, make sure to subscribe as I'm sure I'll be uploading Chipo content in the future.